The fact that Mars once had liquid water is now widely accepted, but water alone doesn't prove life existed there. Answering that question requires far more detailed data, precisely the mission of Curiosity, the successor to Opportunity. On August 6, 2012, Curiosity landed on Mars using a dramatic science fiction method. Instead of bouncing in airbags like earlier rovers, it was lowered on cables from a hovering descent stage. Weighing nearly 900 kilograms and packed with delicate instruments, it needed a gentle touchdown. Once safely on the surface, the cables detached and the descent stage flew away to crash at a safe distance, avoiding damage and reducing dust that could interfere with sensors. Unlike Opportunity, which relied on dust-prone solar panels, Curiosity uses an RTG, radioisotope thermoelectric generator. This device converts steady heat from radioactive decay into electricity, charging batteries and warming instruments, ensuring reliable operation in Mars's harsh environment. Curiosity also carries REMS, a miniature weather station measuring temperature, humidity, pressure, wind, and UV radiation. NASA shares these daily as a Martian weather forecast for the public. Its main target is Gale Crater, home to 5.5-kilometer-high Mount Sharp. Scientists believe Gale Crater once held a lake whose waters laid down sediment layers. Mount Sharp's exposed strata could preserve clues to ancient life. In 2018, NASA announced two major findings, organic molecules in ancient rocks suggesting life might have been possible, and methane in the atmosphere that varies seasonally, hinting at potential biological activity. Now, in its 10th year on Mars, Curiosity continues to work well despite worn wheels and a less smooth robotic arm. Engineers have even rerouted it to avoid rough terrain and reduce wheel damage. Its ongoing climb up Mount Sharp and exploration of Mars stand as a powerful testament to human ingenuity and perseverance in our quest to understand the universe.